Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk to you about a little bit more about the difference between modified sine wave power inverters and pure sine wave power inverters. For those of you unfamiliar with power inverter technology, this is a basic technology that allows you to use DC current from a car, truck, boat, or even a standalone battery and convert it into standard AC current. For those of you unfamiliar with pure sine versus modified sine wave power inverters, the pure sine power inverter will output a more smooth round wave of electricity, very similar to what you'll receive from the utility companies. The modified sine wave power inverter will output a square wave of electricity with much more harsher peaks and valleys in the output current. When contemplating which DC to AC power inverter to purchase, many people always inquire, do they require the pure sine power inverter or will a modified sine power inverter work with their application? The first thing you might notice is that pure sine power inverters might range as much as two to three times the price of a modified sine power inverter. Also, modified sine power inverters are usually available in a much higher output wattage range than the pure sine power inverters. The first thing that you might notice from the different wave of electricity is that a pure sine power inverter will have a much lower harmonic distortion level, very similar to what you'll receive from the utility company. The modified sine wave power inverter will have a much higher harmonic distortion. This might result in a little bit of buzzing or humming. With certain audio equipment or medical equipment, this humming or buzzing could cause damage to the equipment. Therefore, it might be essential to use the pure sine power inverter with this type of equipment. Pure sine and modified sine wave power inverters will have the exact same installation setup. Let's now take a look at how to perform this installation. As you can see, the battery cables have been connected to the battery. We'll now connect the battery cables to the inverter and complete the installation. As you can see, you'll remove the red positive and black negative outer casings to connect the cables to the inverter. Now that they're disconnected, we'll now take the red positive cable, connect it to the inverter, fasten it securely to the inverter. Please make sure that you have a secure connection if the cables aren't properly fastened to the inverter or even to the battery itself, the DC current coming from the battery will be far less efficient than if it was properly connected. Now the installation is complete. We'll uh, turn the inverter around, show you that the uh, LED display will come on, and now the unit will be outputting 120 volts through the AC outlets. Before making your purchase of your DC to AC power inverter, the uh, best way to know if a DC to AC pure sine power inverter is required or modified sine wave is either to contact a service professional. You can either contact us at royalpower.com or you can always inquire with the manufacturer of the actual electronic. They'll always know if their units are able to be used with either a pure sine wave or if modified will just work just fine for them.